All right, let's look a little bit more at indirection. Um, I was doing some examples there. Let me clear them off the screen. I have the PDF in the background, and I have a terminal window in the foreground. Um, so if I say set uh, i is equal to 2, or 3, 2, and um, x is equal to uh, the string 2 plus i, uh, notice there's two operands there. One sets i and the other sets x. If I say write x, you see the string. If I say write i, um, you see the value 2. If I say write, excuse me, I'm going to use abbreviations, um, at x, um, I get a 4 because 2 plus i is 4, and you get the, get the result. If I say set um, a is equal to 123, and I say set um, b is equal to a, Okay, uh, so if I write B, I get A. That's the character string uh, interpretation of it. But if I say write at B, well, it's going to interpret, that's the, that's the expression form, it's going to interpret B as an expression. The expression is therefore a variable. It's A. The value of A is 123, and I get a 123. So writing B, I get A. Writing at B, I get uh, I evaluate B, and the contents of B, uh, the contents of B I evaluate are A, and the evaluation of a variable is its 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 value. All right, um, next one down here. Um, if I say set C is equal to uh, uh, quote B, all right, and then if I say write at at C, I get one twenty three again. Uh, because, first of all, um, the at on C evaluates C, whose contents is B, and then the evaluation of B, whose contents is, is A, the evaluation of A, basically, you get the 123 again. So it gets a little complicated, and you probably shouldn't do too much of this. So if I were to say D, um, set uh, D equal to at at C plus at at uh, C, um, and I would write out D, you get 246. I wouldn't recommend this. This doesn't lead to um, very legible code, um, but it does work. Uh, uh, if I say um, write at, and I have an expression, um, string expression A plus um, A, A exists, um, whoops, close quote, I'll get the 246 again because it evaluates the contents of the expression as if it were a var variable. Um, is if it were the contents of a variable. You can get very complicated with the next line. Um, I'm going to actually cut and paste it because uh, it's it's easier than trying to type it. Um, so go back to the terminal and um, it's Control Shift C. Um, oh, excuse me, Control Shift V to uh, to paste into a um, into a terminal window in Linux. So what we're doing there, and I'll, I'll hit enter, because uh, A is defined, A is 240, is uh, 123, excuse me. Um, so we're, we're, create, we're creating a variable uh, on the left-hand side of the equal sign. Now, the right-hand side is 789. The left-hand side is that um, string, uh, quote, up arrow A, parenthesis, quote, uh, this portion right here is a substring, okay? The underscore character is our concatenation operator. So I'm taking this string, I'm concatenating it with the contents of A, which are 123, and I'm concatenating that with a close parenthesis, all right? So the string in here is up arrow A, parenthesis, contents of, uh, of A, which is 123, close parenthesis. Okay, so that's what's really in there. Up arrow A, parenthesis, 123. I put that all in, in parens because we've got precedence issues here. And then we, we execute that with the indirection operator, which translates that into a legitimate global array reference. So what I'm really doing is I'm setting up arrow, parenthesis, A, into uh, it equal to 789. All right. Um, it's actually not A in there, it's the actual value of A. So that if I were to say then write out uh, up arrow A sub 123, I get 789. Uh, so it did it. What else have we got down here to look at? Um, uh, let's see, um, the famous read X. And this one here, I did this earlier, uh, write at X, which means it's going to read in X, and then it's going to write out the evaluation of X. Um, uh, 1 plus 2. And you get a three. 
Uh, let's see. Um, the final one down there involves uh, branching to a subroutine. I'm not going to do it because I don't have such a subroutine in my in the local area here, um, in this directory. Um, so what you're doing is you're setting a equal to the name of a file on the disk, uh, m1.mumps. That would be the name of the file. The up arrow indicates to uh, the do command that it is in fact a file and not a label in the current program. And you do at a. Well, what that tells the it tells mumps to do, it tells it to load in the program in the file m1.mumps, execute it and ultimately return to whatever immediately follows the do. Uh, another example down there is we have the variable a consists of the string b equals 123, and then I can say set at a. Well, the at a evaluates to b equals 123, so you're effectively, well, you are setting b equal to 123.